Good morning, welcome to DePaul. My name is Natalie and I will be your tour guide today. Let's get started. We're gonna be looking at the Loop Campus. First off, we have two campuses here at DePaul. We have the Loop Campus and then our Lincoln Park Campus up north. Our Loop Campus houses our communications school, our business school, our law school, and our College of Computing and Digital Media. So if you're interested in those things, odds are you will be spending some time at the Loop. Um, so right now we are in the DePaul Center. So next we are going to head upstairs to our business school. This school actually takes up floors five through eight of this building. I want to point out our Office for Graduate programs. If you're interested, DePaul does do uh, the five-year programs where you can get your master's and your bachelor's degree. Um, the Council of Graduate School of Business is also amazing. Um, business in Chicago is obviously a great match, uh, especially here at DePaul. So on this floor, we have uh, a number of our programs within our business school. We have our real estate program right here. We have our accounting finance down the hall. Um, and I wanted to point out our finance lab while we're here. Um, odds are if you're taking uh, business classes, if you're a business major, you'll probably spend some time in the finance lab. One of the most important classes they offer in there is the stock market class. Basically how it works is you'll invest real money into the stock market at the very beginning of your class. And then by the end of the class, whether you, you know, gained money or lost money, your grade will be affected. Welcome to the ninth floor. Um, right here, this first office is DePaul Central. This is basically a one-stop shop for all of the nitty-gritty college-related things. So for example, if you just turn in immunization records, anything related to tuition payments, financial aid, stuff like that, you will go right here. And depending on your major, if you're a Loop Campus major, this is where all of your information will be. We do have another installment of this office uh, down at our Lincoln Park campus. This office right here is the Career Center. This is honestly probably one of the most used offices by DePaul students. They offer a ton of different things other than the classic, you know, resume review, cover letter, how we do mock interviews. Uh, we also offer a couple online programs that have been so helpful for DePaul students. We have the Handshake program, which is kind of like an online job board for DePaul students. Uh, not only can you find, you know, regular hourly jobs, you can also find internships and career opportunities, not only around Chicago, but also around the country. We also have the ASK program, which stands for Alumni Sharing Knowledge, and that is more of like a LinkedIn for DePaul students and alumni specifically. Also, our Career Center uh, offers a career closet, which is basically like a space where you can uh, take clothes for an interview or something. Also, a great office to look at for uh, DePaul like campus jobs. Uh, we do have DePaul's minimum wage at like the Chicago minimum wage, about fourteen dollars an hour now. So definitely recommend you work on campus if you get the chance. Welcome to the 10th floor, well, one floor up, and we are at our Loop Campus Library. So this library, uh, as you can maybe see, has a lot more specialized books uh, for communication scholars and business scholars and law scholars. What we will find here is a great space to study. So if you want like a quiet space in the Loop, which I know is very uncommon here. Um, this is probably gonna be your best bet. Uh, we also have a lot of the uh, regular things that we have on our Lincoln Park campus. So we have our research help desk right down there. Uh, we also obviously have our printing services up here and our regular librarians who are there to help you with any sort of research uh, or book finding related issues that you might have. All right, welcome to the 11th floor. This is our student center floor, I guess, here in the Loop campus. I uh, just wanted to point out a couple of things while we're up here. First, obviously, you can maybe see this beautiful view behind me. This is a great place to just sort of decompress. Also directly across from me is our study abroad board. Uh, this one does not have even close to half of the number of programs that we offer here at DePaul for study abroad. And we do have over 80 programs. We go to every single continent aside from Antarctica. So if you're interested in that, it's a definitely a great option. Here at DePaul, we do have an experiential learning requirement that you have to fulfill in order to graduate. Uh, that can be fulfilled either with an internship program or with a study abroad program. It's kind of whatever you want to make of it, but I definitely recommend expanding your horizons in that way. Dining on campus. I know every family has questions about it, so I have some answers for you. Uh, this right here is the market. So this is our dining center uh, in our Loop campus. Um, basically, if you're not familiar with how most college meal plans work, 
Uh, DePaul takes a two-pronged approach, so we have flex dollars and swipes. Flex dollars is where your student ID is treated like a debit card. Uh, you can load money onto there anytime that you want, and you'll have a specific dollar amount to start with at the beginning of every quarter, um, and that'll go down as you purchase things. Um, those will work for more like snappy things, like if you're getting a coffee or maybe a bag of chips somewhere, um, that is what flex dollars will work for. And then you'll have swipes, which is basically you'll swipe in uh, at our dining locations uh, and then you can get square meals using that um, so that's what most people use for their everyday meals um, so that's what you'll use here at the market uh, for most items um, it functions basically the same as our student center uh, dining in the Lincoln Park campus just FYI and I will say uh, I'm a transfer student, so I have had different kinds of dining food uh, as a freshman at a different university. So I think you can trust me when I say that DePaul's food is good. All right, so right here is the office for our university ministry here in the Loop campus. Obviously, we have an office of their own uh, in the student center in Lincoln Park, but this is what we've got up here. Uh, if you haven't heard, DePaul is the largest Catholic university in the nation pause for effect, but I always like to say DePaul is as Catholic as you want it to be. Um, obviously, we have so many Catholic students who are so involved um, in that scene here at DePaul, but if you're not interested in it, God bless you. You don't have to get involved, uh, but we can talk a little bit more about that later. Just know that this office is up here. All right, so right now we are in between the DePaul Center and the Lewis Center, which is our law building. We're on the Sky Bridge. Um, it's just like a cute name for it. Uh, there's a couple things I wanted to point out right here. First of all, if you're walking on the Sky Bridge, you can see the L down there. Um, with your DePaul tuition, I just want you to know you do get a free CTA U Pass um, that lasts during the academic year. As long as you're enrolled in classes and taking them, you should get free unlimited rides on all Chicago public transit. So that's really fun. <laughs> um, I also wanted to point out just across the way, um, there is the University Center. That is basically our dorm option here in the Loop campus. We do share that building though with uh, Robert Morris University, Roosevelt University, and Columbia College. So you will be living with other Loop students, but you'll be on the same floor as DePaul students. And if you share a room, you'll share it with another DePaul student. Um, they actually have their own fitness center. They also have their own dining center. So they'll have their own specific meal plan. So if you wanna live on the Loop campus, that might be a good option for you. All right, so we are on the 14th floor of the Lewis Center right now. Just wanna point out a couple of the resources we offer up here. First is obviously our counseling center. We do have counseling as well on the Lincoln Park campus. Um, so this one is really convenient if you find yourself in the loop and you need someone to talk to. Uh, you can schedule appointments through this counseling center uh, over the phone or online. Um, definitely a great resource. It's also free for the first 10 sessions and then after that, it's like seven bucks or something. So definitely look into that if you need someone to talk to. Also on this floor, we offer uh, our Center with Students for Disabilities up here. So if you need extra time on tests, you know, with test anxiety or something, um, you can use this office to take your tests in the Loop campus. So helpful. We also have our student affairs up here as well. So if you have questions for them, this is where you'll go. We are downstairs in the communication building. This basement floor basically is centered on film student things. So we have theater spaces for students to show their films. Next, we're going to take a peek at the cage. This is the space where film students can borrow professional film equipment for classes or projects. Anything that you might need to shoot a film, you can find down here in the cage. Next, we are going to head up to the third floor for our idea realization lab. So up here, we have basically anything you might need to make a creative project. We have animation studios for any student who wants to animate something. We also have our digital fabrication studio, which is where we have our 3D printers and our laser cutters. So you can use those. You can also use our robotics space. We have a robotics club that meets in here. We also have a wood shop toward the back, circuits for electronic things that you might want to make. But we also have regular crafty things. But yeah, that is what's up here. And that actually is the final stop on our tour. So thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed our little virtual tour of DePaul.